Randy, uh, you happy that this is the fight that's still happening here? Yes, absolutely. Um, I was actually advocating for it on social media, trying to get the fight back once I saw that it fell through. Um, and I was able to, so that's good. Yeah, I mean, I imagine it makes it uh, extra good because you don't get like the lost work from preparing before, right? Yeah. Definitely. Um, so can you just tell me about obviously having to pull out of the fight last time? Uh, how hard was that on you with you know everything that was going on there? Uh, it was tough, but you know, I had, obviously I was, you know, I tested positive for COVID. Mm -hmm. So uh, I just had to deal with it two weeks off, but I, my, my symptoms weren't crazy. I just kind of had like a, a headache, sore throat and I was out for what, two weeks and then I was back to work. So I pretty much just extended my camp. <laughs> Yeah, are you excited to be fighting back in front of fans on this card? Yes, I am. What do you think it's the end, that environment's going to be like? I mean, is it, do you think it's just going to, obviously you're used to it for, for many years doing that, but uh, do you think it's going to be an extra adrenaline dump or anything like that? Nah, nah, I enjoy that. I enjoy that. I actually prefer that than no crowd. Yeah, I'm, I, may, I may be one of the few people who, who actually enjoys that, so I like the crowd. It gives me more energy, just kind of. You know, just better. Uh, what specifically about Cowboy uh, interested, interested you specifically? Or was um, it just the fact that you didn't want to lose the camp from the first time? Yeah, I just didn't want to lose the camp. You know, he's a guy that's, you know, he brings it. It's, it's going to be a, a good fight, you know, high pace fight. Those are the fights that I like. And I think stylistically we could put on a great show for the fans, you know. So, uh, and I just didn't want to lose the camp. I put, I put in all that work, man. I put in all that work. And then for him to get someone else, you know, uh, short notice, I kinda, it kind of worked out that that person didn't work out. Sure. Didn't, you know, I don't know what happened with that, but I'm happy that didn't work out. So they put me right back in there. So. And a lot of the narrative I've been seeing on social media is Cowboy might be on the chopping block, possibly, in his, in his, in his career. You know, he missed weight last time, got finished by a kind of a relatively unknown fighter. Is fighting someone like that more dangerous, knowing that they, they have a lot to lose in this fight? Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, because his back is against the wall, and he's going to, you know, fight tooth and nail. You know, you know, they say a cornered animal is usually the most dangerous kind of animal. So, uh yeah, I think he's fine. He may be. I'm not sure. I can't say it, but it seems to be that, that that's the case. So, um, you know, either way, I'm sorry. It is what it is. You know what I mean? I got a job to do. Uh, I got a ton of respect for the guy. You know, he's, he's a veteran. He's been around for a long time. And I'm a fan. I love the way he fights, you know. But I got to go in there and feed my family. So it is what it is. And then obviously, since you this good segue for because you're a fan, you've obviously watched him a bunch of times. And when you when when you have been watching him in the past, are you seeing openings you know you can take advantage of while you're watching? Obviously, you don't have to give away your game plan, but I'm sure you do see things you can take advantage of. Absolutely, absolutely. Back here, Randy. What's up? Uh, what experience are you going to take in coming in from after after you responded for the Nico? fight and you came back with one of the best performances of your career are you leaning towards that after what happened last time coming in this time well that's the plan <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's the plan I mean obviously I'm one of those guys you know I've never lost two in a row in my entire career you know I always learn big lessons from my fight and I, I take my losses hard you know what I mean it is what it is but I always dust myself off no matter what I get back up and I dust myself off and I come back stronger so uh, it's the same thing here you know, I've, I've learned from it. I've made the mistakes, you know, and there were some personal things that I had to take away and things that happened beyond that I can't really just come out and talk to the media and the people. It is what it is. It's fight. It's the fight game. I had to take that on the chin and, you know, I'm back. That's it. On an individual level, how good does it know that you got that set of white personal stuff that you can be your be who you are, be rude boy up in the cage and do your thing? Um, I love that. I love that, man. I love I'm able to just... I love, like I said, I always say this, right? I always say this leading into the fights and back in the day when I just got here and everything, I'm learning on the job. I got here at six and oh, baby, right? And I'm learning and I had to figure it all out as I'm here. And uh, I've, I'm doing that slowly and I'm getting there. You know what I mean? So uh, I love the way my progression is going. You know, some of the lessons were hard lessons that I had to learn and I've learned them and that's the name of the game. So I feel good that I'm able to be myself. I feel good that I've, I've learned to, to get the, my weight, my weight control and my, my weight cut under under control, um, everything's smooth now. Everything's fluid, and 
I'm just excited to go put on a show and be me and do what I do. Of course, the ultimate goal is to get the belt. With Absolutely. The, with the belt being decided on Saturday night, does that kind of, of course, you're a motivated guy, but does that inspire you seeing like, hey, I'm going to be in the ring with one of these dudes oh, in the next year or two? With, without a doubt. Without a doubt. One thousand um, percent. Like I said, I'm always motivated, but that does motivate me even more. It's funny. I was talking to my friend yesterday. And it was one of those things where he was like, man. Because I used to always say, I like being on a smaller card so, I could, so it's easier to get a bonus, right? And then I, that mindset, as I got older and I realized, I'm like, hmm, that, probably, that really doesn't make any sense, right? It's like, I want to be on these big cards. I want to be on the cards with all the eyes because if I stand out on this card, you know, that, then it's like, okay, then you're doing something. You stand out on a, car, on a smaller card. You always, it is not to take anything away from a smaller card, but I'm saying you stand out on those cards. It's like, okay, that's cool. But you stand out amongst giants, then, you know, then what does that say about you, right? If I question for me, where's that come from in that you take chances? Like a lot of people, they don't take chances. Even if they're winning a fight, they're content going to the decision. You take chances and put on a show, win or lose. Where does that come from? Because a lot of people, regardless if they're high level or up and coming, they don't take chances in the combat sports and MMA or boxing mm -hmm. for that matter. Well, I guess that comes back from my, my training, you know, and I, I never want to be the guy that. You know, and it has happened. And I take, like I said, I take the, my losses hard, you know. And I've been in positions where it's like, man, fuck, I shouldn't have lost that, man. I shouldn't have lost that. And I, I didn't do, it's regret, you know. I didn't do, you know, what I know I could do. And I'm tired of that. I'm tired of having, you know, oh, I didn't, I didn't show what I know I could just show. What my, all my teammates know, you know. I don't want to go back being this guy from where I'm from in the gym and everywhere. Everyone's like, man, high hopes, high hopes. Oh, man, Randy's really good. And then I go to the big show and I, and I stink it up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I, that's what I don't want. That's my fear. So I want to come out and perform and do what I do. And, you know, I got my peoples behind me, man, watching me back home. I want to inspire, you know, and, and just, just continue to, to show them, like, yo, we can do this. So that's it. This is straight off top of the dome. I thought, I thought well, this is my final one. Are you inspired off of the events that happened yesterday, just as from a hum humanity standpoint? Uh, absolutely, absolutely. You know, um, I mean, as you all know, I'm one of those people who advocate for advocate for those kind of things and just equality overall for everyone. And I want to spread positive positivity and all love. So I'm happy it went down the way it went down. But the only real justice would have been, you know, if if my man was still here, you know, but. It is what it is. Uh, well, well, is that a 25 times tested shirt? A absolutely. <laughs> so, all right. Is that, did you get that today? No, I got this uh, beginning of this camp. Oh, well. You know, I just happened to pack it. There's no, there's no hidden meaning. I just, sure, I, just, sure. I just happened to have the shirt and I threw it up. Well, congratulations. Uh, what do you make of, uh, what, who do you think wins the title fight top of the card in your division? Ooh. I don't know. I don't know. I truly don't know. Um, I could come out here and break. If you want, if you want to hear my breakdown, I'm sure. live on Twitch every Friday and Sunday. If y'all want to come on my Twitch and, and watch me break down the fights, you know what I mean. So we could talk about it there if you want. Good plug. <laughs>